Uh, we're going to put our plastic down here tonight. It's getting late. I've got to get this down. I've only got maybe an hour of daylight left and I'm just starting. What I've been doing is coming down here with the uh, factory edge and using my staple gun to just staple this on along the strapping here. And that way I have a guide to follow. That's hopefully this sheet will go on straight and then we'll just be able to unfold it down to the bottom and then uh, put our boards going down to actually hold this flat. So now we're getting it unfurled across the roof here. And the only thing holding this on up at the top are a few staples that I put in. So I've got to do this gently and move across the roof as I go here. So far that's looking really good. We'll get that wrinkle out when we pull that tight to the building over there. And we cut it the right length. That's awesome. Everything seems to be going well. There's the plastic down. Comes a little ways down the roof line, which is great. And you want to try to get this as uh, tight as you can. I'm in trouble here tonight. I started too late at this project. And uh, you can see we've got the plastic laid out, but it's only held on by staples uh, along this top ridge here. And I've got to get my strapping down. My very first cut, I had to do a custom cut to fit in around that corner. And so I've got that prepared here. Okay, there, that board's gonna fit in like that. You can already see though, there's a tiny little ridge right there in the plastic. And that's because I pulled that bottom corner over there tight because I barely had the material to get it, to catch it. And I think that's because I made my cut a little bit crooked. So problems compound when you start rushing things. And now I'm gonna to try to pull that excess material this way towards the upper corner, but I bet that's gonna plague me the entire friggin' roof as I go across it. I'm gonna be messing with a little bit of a wrinkle all because of that corner. Anyway, that there fit in nicely. We're ready to move on. I got my uh, strapping screwed on at the top there. I'm now gonna line it up with the piece of strapping underneath on this edge and make sure the plastic's tight and then screw it down here at the bottom and then I should have a good hold over on this side as I go across the roof with my strapping. I can pull the plastic tight. Oh, there went a bat just now. That's great to see. Okay, so now my first board is on over there. I'm gonna pull this tight a little bit coming this way and then put a staple in down here before I go back up to the other side to uh, put my next board on and that way I know the bottoms held fairly straight so but I've got to have two hands I got to pull on the plastic and then drive my staple in second piece of strappings down now I have to go back down to the bottom I'll pull the material tight a little bit and probably staple it over here and then go back and screw that one down and then I've got to come back up and I'll jump 48 inches so two over and I'll put another piece of strapping down. Same thing, start at the top and then run it down, fasten it on down there um, and keep kind of pulling my material tight as I go across it. So far so good. Strapping's going on well. I'm down to my last couple pieces and thankfully there's been very little wind here tonight or I'd have been in a real mess. You can see it just starting now, the breeze. But uh, I should get this done in time. And uh, I just noticed, and though you can see it's gone sort of a grayish color along these other boards. And it's alongside this, you can kind of see the discoloration. And that's moisture, just as I thought that there may get uh, moisture somehow trapped between the plastic and the wood. And so that's why I oiled all of these... Um, top boards that I have on here front and back I've got them oiled hoping that uh, they'll last longer up here on the roof against that humidity where I have my strapping running from top to bottom right now it'll help to shed water and snow and if I do have a buildup of, uh, of snow I can always uh, sort of push it down and there's nothing coming this way across it for wood that would impede the movement of snow to come right off and fall off the edge 
So that's why I decided to do my top layer that holds the plastic on vertically this way so that it would shed things better and I could clean off the roof with a plow, let's say, a little bit easier than if I had my last layer coming across this way. The other nice part of this is that where I'm in a cold northern climate, should I want to double insulate this, I can always take another layer of plastic starting over at the shed over that side and run it right over top of this strapping that I put down tonight and that's going to give me um, a little air gap in between the two pieces of plastic and it would greatly increase the insulating value of this greenhouse. So depending on how uh, things go in the spring and fall around here, um, that's always an option later is to double up the plastic and have a really well insulated building. Same thing on the front wall. I'm going to have my strapping running vertically, uh, holding on the plastic on the front wall, and that's going to allow me again to put another layer and then another layer of strapping. It would make for a really good northern climate greenhouse, I think, when I'm done. Really good insulating value. There's my log roof beams, and you can see the plastic on now. So uh, again, very cheap build done, given that structurally I did it all with log, and uh, seems to have turned out really well. So there it is. Greenhouse roof is on, just in time to miss this year's growing season. Uh, my timing was pretty off on this. Um, anyway, that's a symptom of me underestimating the time jobs are going to take yet again and uh, I didn't set aside enough time early on this year to, to do something with this. Anyway, done now. Growing season's over. We'll see how this holds up over the winter. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys like the uh, build tonight and uh, I'm very happy to have this done. Cheers, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Beautiful night out here doing work.